Hey everyone, it's Jake with Lax Weekly and welcome to today's film breakdown. Today I'm super excited to be breaking down film from one of my favorite attackmen ever, Michael Krauss. If you're an aspiring lacrosse player, I would highly encourage you to watch this whole video. As whether you're a beginner or advanced player, I'm going to show you how you can take what you learned today to become a lethal dodger. You're going to be so far ahead of any other player on your team. So Krauss is a senior at UVA and is definitely one of the top dodgers in the country. We're going to see why he's so effective at dodging by slowing things down on film. Shout out to my man Cole Bolin for the suggestion. I read every comment you guys post so if you have any questions or players you want me to break down, always feel free to leave a comment down below. If you're looking to get better at lacrosse, come join the free Lax Weekly email newsletter where I post exclusive film breakdowns, tips, and drills for lacrosse players trying to get better. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go join now. Let's get into some film. So I'll play the clip for you and then we'll talk about it so don't worry about missing it. Okay, this was an awesome dodge, and the cool part about film is that we can break this dodge down step by step. And in this case, there are three parts to this dodge. Part one is the initial move he makes where he sprints up towards the left side of the cage. Part two is this little hesitation he throws at his defender. And part three is an amazing shot and score that he does. So let's dive into each of these three pieces more closely. In part one, Kraus makes a relatively simple move where he cuts to his left and sprints up the field. But here's what I like about it. Kraus is dodging 100%. He's dead sprinting towards the cage like he's ready to shoot once he gets some angle. And so his defender has to respect that and sprints to try to turn him away from the goal. I call this dodging with intent, meaning that Kraus clearly shows his intent to score. When you dodge, dodge with intent instead of just running around all over the place. Okay, now for part two, which is the most important part of the dodge, the hesitation he does. Some people in lacrosse call this the rocker step. You'll notice that Kraus already has a step on his defender, which means he's in great position because his defender isn't focused on anything except trying to catch up to him. He's just chasing Kraus around at this point. And Kraus knows this, so he makes a smart move by quickly hesitating, making it seem like he's going to turn back the other way. This hesitation makes the defender think, okay, great, he's turning back around and now he can check the ball out of his stick. And so the defender makes this desperate check and now he's totally out of position. All Kraus has to do now is score. And now onto part three, the shot. Kraus set up his defender super well and his hands are free to shoot. But this isn't just any normal shot, this shot is sweet. You'll notice he shoots right at his defender's hip. His defender is now a screen between Kraus and the goalie which means that the goalie can't see the ball when it comes out. If the goalie can't see the ball, well then, as long as you don't hit him and put it on cage, chances are you're going to score. Another added bonus to shooting at your defender's hip is that it causes the defender pain. It does not feel good when someone shoots a metal stick as hard as they can at your hip. Defenders are constantly wailing on your arms and trying to rough you up, so this is a completely legal way to get back at your defender. So now that we've broken this down, what's the big takeaway? For me, it's that Krause's dodges are surprisingly simple and super easy for anyone to do. You just dodge hard, get your defender to react one way, and then move the other. This reaction takes practice, but if you can get enough reps, you can do it too. To really reinforce this concept, let's look at a different dodge where he uses the same method. Double team comes, they swarm Brown. Virginia on the move, Brown unsettled. Kraus one on one, he fires and scores! Once again, we can break this dodge down into three parts. It's a little bit more subtle, but in part one, he makes this step upfield, in part two, he rolls back, and in part three, he shoots. Although this dodge is from a different game, he's using the exact same method as in that previous clip that I showed you. In part one, Kraus makes this step upfield, causing his defender to turn him back. And this move is strong. It really seems like Kraus is trying to go back upfield and score. So Kraus feels this pressure from his defender, and in part two, he rolls back. And once again, this is a strong move. It looks like Kraus is going to sprint towards the goal now. And at this point, the defender has to try even harder to push him away. But look, now his defender is completely out of position. He's giving Kraus this whole topside space to work with. Bingo. 
Now Krauss's defender is in checkmate. All Krauss has to do is finish. And now for part 3, this shot is remarkably similar to that last dodge that we looked at. He shoots right at the defender's hip and the goalie has no clue where it's going. And this goalie is no slouch, he's actually one of the best keepers in the country. But it doesn't matter because he can't see the ball, and Kraus puts the ball on net and scores. So to nail this point home, Kraus is simply dodging hard, seeing where his defender is pushing him, and then he reacts accordingly. When he shoots, he uses his defender as a shield which makes it really hard for the goalie to stop. You can apply the same thing to your lacrosse game at any level, and I promise you 90% of attackmen aren't even thinking about this. So if you can learn how to do this, you're going to be so far ahead of your competition. Okay, so I really enjoyed those two clips, and here's one more clip that I want to take a look at. Great, great finish here. And I'm not going to break this dodge down into pieces, but there are a few things that I want you to take note of. First of all, Krause's stick is up the entire time, like he's ready to make a pass at any moment. This keeps his defender off of his hands, because the defender is trying to block Kraus from passing. Keep your stick up when you dodge, and I promise you, you're going to score so many more goals. Next, what I like is when Kraus makes a hard move towards the cage, he brings his stick in front of him, so there's no way his defender can get a trail check on him. It's completely protected. You should never bring your stick back when you're making a move. And the last thing I take note of is this shot. Notice how Kraus kind of dips his stick and his shoulder down like he's going to shoot low. And then at the last second, he shoots high. The best shooters in lacrosse use their eyes and shoulders to fake out the goalie, and you should too. So those were three different dodges from Michael Kraus that I really think sum up why he's such a good attackman. Like I said, if you want to see more of these and improve even quicker as a lacrosse player, join the LAX Weekly email newsletter along with over 300 others. Remember, the key to being a great dodger is by dodging hard and reacting. That's it. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.